Oh, there's a fish. Oh, that's a big fish. Yeah, at least a big bite. Oh my God, it's a bass. That's a striper, man. <laughs> What's up guys welcome back to yet another video as you guys can see we are doing another intro in the dark it's around 4 40 right now october 28th 2020 so as you guys can see it's dark it's early and we're gonna be going doing some striper fish in today so i got a car i got my license fortunately finally so doing what i've wanted to do for years i'm just gonna go book it way up north um they're starting to catch some good stripers up there getting some good reports and i'm not really chasing any reports there's not too much from the surf but i'm just going to go out there go chunk up some bunker for a few hours starting with the first light bite and we'll see if we can get anything guys so i'm not going to bore you too much with the, in the dark intro because it kind of looks kind of wacky but uh yeah let's get up there um got to get some gas grab a little wawa sizzly and hopefully we'll crank up some big bass and see what we can do so i'm stoked to get out there guys and uh yeah see you guys out there hopefully we can get up some nice fish see you then Breakfast of the day, not a USB C cord, but a coffee roll and a 24 ounce pumpkin cloth. It cost me three bucks, so that'll be my fuel for the day and 35 hours of fuel for the car. So I'm a little more fuel efficient, but uh, yeah, let's get back on the roads. Got an hour, maybe 20 minutes to go. So let's crank some ASAP Rocky and I'll see you guys when we get up there. Peace. Made it up north to secure some bait and some 70 gamagatsu hooks so now we got our 30 minute drive to the beach i could fish kind of like the bay area up here but i really kind of just want to go go to the ocean i'm more of a, a ocean surf guy so I was trying to get hit by a car and uh yeah we're gonna, gonna head to the beach now I'll catch you guys around 30 minutes still got plenty of time before sunrise which is when i want to start fishing so we're on track to have a good day hopefully we can get out there Well guys, it's uh, around 7.40 now. Just got all set up. Took me about 20, 30 minutes to kind of get everything tied up, pack up our, our bags, and hopefully we can catch some fish. So let's get out there, walk, find an open spot. There's more people here than I expected. But uh, yeah, see if we can crank any fish. I'll see you guys out there. Well guys, we made it to the beach. Um, it's still pretty dark out. We're not as light um, because of the clouds and a little bit of a breeze. It's so cool seeing those big cargo ships out there as well. I've never been this far up north. We're pretty close to New York, so that's sick. Giant cargo ships, literally, I don't know, a mile or two off the beach, which is just absolutely gnarly. Um, it's gorgeous out here. A lot of wildlife, a lot of trash, unfortunately. It's kind of sad to see all that, but near a major city, major bay, kind of what you expect. Tons of birds, though, tons of wildlife. Um, I'm just gonna throw some chunks out, see what I can get. Honestly, I don't really care what I catch as long as I get a tight line. Could be a skate, could be a dogfish. Hope for at least one or two stripers. Um, kind of just like an early fall run thing. Not a lot of reports, just coming out here trying to make some reports. Not even too crowded either. So, planning for everyone to shred out. I'm gonna throw some chunks on. I'll catch you guys on the GoPro. Hopefully my weights can hold and uh, we'll see if we can catch anything. I'm stoked to get out there and hopefully it's a good day. All right guys, so fate of the day is going to be some fresh buker some buker fresh just pick us up about tackle shop 45 minutes ago you guys saw that uh hopefully it's pretty fresh need to look at it maybe too late now and eh, it looks all right doesn't even look that good but yeah, at least as long as it works kind of there's about a dozen guys to the right of me plugging 
haven't seen a single fish sky's leaving the beach dead not much either so we'll kind of see what's going on exactly here we got four bunkers just gonna cut kind of cut, cut them up in chunks like this throw our tails in the water and then like i said there's a boat trolling right around here it is the himmo cup some cargo ships out there uh, out there fishing uh just a lot of cool stuff out here even the sand's different so even if i don't catch a fish just getting out here is always a great part of the day and right here is my okuma longitude surf rod i think um 5000 size daiwa bg uh 40 pound power pro I actually just bought this used the other day and then we got yeah 40 pound power pro two 60 pound mono leader a few inches of that uh fish finder rig standard with a uh, bunk a bunker chunker a bunker chunk right there wash our hands off all right water seems pretty pretty all right not too cold not too warm good striper temp and unfortunately it's really kind of deep out there so i don't have to wait out too far and here we go first cast of the day hopefully this five ounce weight holds um i have a few eight ounce spuntnips if i have to go up to them but i really don't because they're gonna be a pain in the butt to cast so let's see if we can get this guy to stay out there first not a bad cast at least i wouldn't say so and we're just gonna be kind of doing a chill day so casting out Sitting back, I'm waiting is really just gonna be the method of the day. Hopefully I have a few big runoffs. Um, I don't really care what happens, like I said. I'm just, I just love exploring new places and maybe catching some fish, um, but you never know. So to grab out our bunker chunk, toss one this rod. All right guys, and then over here, we have our 7,500 pen spin fisher five on a uh, Tika, I don't even know what that's called, Tika something. And then 50 pound power pro on there. We have pretty much the same exact rig, except we got a six ounce pyramid here, a different color fish finder, and a little bit larger chunk of bunker because this rod is a little bit stiffer. Even though this is only a 10 foot rod, that one is a 12. So we'll, we'll see what happens. There we go, pretty decent cast. Nothing too crazy. And for the most part, it looks like we're holding right now. I don't know what the tide is, how strong the current is here. But it looks like we're holding okay, at least. Really dark, which is just weird because of how overcast it is, even though it's eight in the morning. All right, and then we got another rod back there. I might throw a plug on, cast in the meantime, um, but I'm really not seeing a, a reason to right now. So let's let this sit. Hopefully we get at least a few fish today. Hopefully something comes out of this video. Did a lot of driving, spent a decent amount of money. For me at least. And uh, yeah, there you go guys. Now we just sit back in our luxurious chair, bump some little Uzi, and hopefully catch some fish. So I'll catch you guys when we catch something, hopefully. And we'll see how long that takes. See you guys then. Also guys, pro tip I forgot to mention, um, always grab yourself a delicious, nutritious snack or breakfast meal when you're out here chunking. Um, I chose healthy coffee roll right here. Got some coffee, got some roll, and got it from Wawa. So you know it's good. I'm gonna munch, well hopefully Scraper's munch. I think we're getting a bite too. Let's go check that out. What we got going on over here, man? What we got going on over here? Something's shaking it. Try a little doggy. Didn't take too long. Not what I want though. All right, throw it in, check the bait. Well guys, no fish over there. Um, just some little bites from something. I don't know what it was. Now let's just sit and wait for some more fake bites. Let's get to work on this coffee roll.
We got a fish on, guys. Just been getting some small little taps. I decided I'd come over here and try to get it off. I don't know what we got here. That looks like a skate or something. Something small. Doggy. Oh. No, he took my hook with him. No, come back here. Come back here, you doggy. Oh, it's a spiny dogfish, too. First fish of the day. You gotta be careful with these guys. They can impale you. There we go, guys. First fish of the day right there. That's a uh, spiny dogfish. You can see with that big old spine right there. On, I don't know what muscle, what fin that's called, but cool looking fish. He would just sit still for a picture. <laughs> cool looking fish. Um, not our target, but we don't get these guys too much down in South Jersey. Wicked spine right there. Let's send him back. He took my hook. I guess he swallowed it or something. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's let him go. All right, bud. Thanks for costing me a hook. Hope it was worth it. Not a bass, but still a fish. See you, bud. Um, I got to retie. I'm putting our chunk out there. Hopefully, there's not too many of those guys out there. That's probably what was banging that rod up over there, too. So, well, uh, we'll see what happens. Just got to make sure I tie a better knot next time. Might have bit through it. I don't know. I don't know what happened right there. All right, let's uh, retie and recast. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, that's a big fish. Yeah, at least a big bite. Might be a bass right there. Might be probably just a dogfish. We'll see though. I don't know. I just rebaited him from the last one. Feels bigger than the last fish I got. I don't know if that's because it's a bigger dogfish or what. I don't know, I really don't know. I haven't chunked like this in a while. Could probably just another dogfish. Yeah, doggy. Oh my God, it's a bass. That's a striper, man. <laughs> oh, dude, that's sick. First bass of the day, bro. First bass of the day. Sick, 825. Look at that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. He's breadcrumbing himself. Not a bad bass at all. Not a bad bass at all. Not a bad bass at all. Let's wash him off real quick. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Tried to get a cool picture of him. That was sick. Breadcrumb bass, dude, not bad at all. Didn't even take our bait. So we can get right back out there. Well guys, I was gonna try to get a picture of that fish, but uh, he had other plans, tried to wash him off, get a cool pick, swam right off. But that's sick, first bass of the day. It's been literally 20 minutes since I've been fishing, maybe 30. Oh, that's awesome. We still got hours left to go. So good to know there's some bass here. It's only probably a 24 inch, I didn't even bring a tape measure today. Um, I don't know what else to say. That's sick, I'm so stoked that we got one. Forgot my camera tripod too, that's why I'm like army crawling on the ground. But uh, yeah, let's get back out there and catch some more fish. All right, so now I know what a striper feels like again. That was probably a 24 incher, maybe 26. Uh, on the really small tail piece of the bunker chunk. So, hey, I'll take what I can get. I don't keep stripers anyway, because uh, they're kind of controversial to do that. There's some people say they're over fish, and that's what the data kind of points to. But uh, yeah, first fish of the day, big wave. And that was our target, so that's absolutely awesome to catch. Let's cast back out there and see if we can get another one. Woo! Chunking for the win, man. Everyone plugging down there, haven't seen a single fish caught. There's like a dozen guys. You chunk, you sit back, you relax. Listen to some Playboy Cordy, and he catch some fish. Awesome. All right, now we got a much bigger chunk on this rod, so hopefully if there's any larger fish around, we'll kind of key in on this bigger bait right here. But just catching one striper is awesome. I really didn't know if there were any out here. Um, that's sick to catch. So let's uh, launch this guy out here, 
see if we can pull up any more bass, maybe a bigger one. But I thought one to two bass would be expected today, and we already got one. Oh, freaking A. Nice knot there, Dylan. Bad knot, my bad. Definitely regret that, so let's uh, retie again, Dylan. Nice job. And hopefully we catch a fish while I retie. Oh, there's another hit. Looks like a doggy, though. There we are. He's on. Probably just a little doggy. Let's see. That's a smooth dogfish too. Third species, these guys do not have the spines like the other one. Oh, another spiny dogfish right here, guys. Trying not to get myself stabbed. And before I even had time to retie the other rod, got another little fish, so a ton of life out here. Not all stripers, of course, but sweet. There we are. Third doggy of the day, or second doggy of the day, third fish of the day. See you, bud. Still on the same piece of bait, so let's cast that back out there. Oh, doggies. No doubt about that on mine. I have a fish on. Not what I want though. A little dogfish. Yeah, definitely a little dogfish on here. Not what I want at all. There we go guys, our most popular guest of the day. Little dogfish, only one striper so far. It's been like an hour since I caught that guy. Uh, it's been a slow bite, tide's kind of gone down really quickly. But here we go, little dogfish crawl messing around with my chunk. All right, there we go. Third little dogfish of the day. See you, bud. Tide so really went down quick. You guys can see that little sandbar right there. Um, I would love to wait out there, but it just drops off so quickly. So I kind of have one rod staggered inside the sandbar, and other one trying to get out beyond the sandbar a little bit. It's just uh, kind of tough. Weather's not too nice. I don't really complain about that, but would like some more fish to come. Hopefully, they swim by. I mean, there's nothing I can do except wait. All right, well guys, a few hours now, um, a few hours later now, actually. Um, I kind of told you guys on the GoPro it was gonna be the end. Bite just shut off after the early morning. We had that one bass. I thought it was gonna be lights out. We got that super quick. We were getting dog fish. Thought it was gonna be a crazy video, but at the beginning of the fall run, chunk in for stripers. Um, even though we drove two hours to get up there, it, it was just, it was a ton of fun just driving, exploring. Never been up there before, so that was sick to kind of explore, and now, we got some lunch, we got some tacos right here. I don't know what I got, some soft tacos, some free coupon joints, and uh, Baja Blast. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was a fun day. Caught some fish, three o'clock now, not gonna be home until dinner time, and I have a ton of work to do. So I had to leave at some time. I actually left the beach at like one o'clock, but it took me an hour to pack the core. And then I just kind of, I don't know, dilly daddled on the way back down here stopped looked over at some other beaches a lot of beach replenishment going on up here um water was really icky heard some guy was snagging dropping bass off the beach he said he had one little hit that was it so i mean i'm really not that discouraged it seemed like the fish turned on the other day i was looking at the reports all over facebook um down like mid coast they were they were catching some 40 48 inches and by the time you guys see this video either the fall run will be almost over or it'll be like lights out everywhere but it's kind of just starting right now it's october 26th it's later and later every year i was catching bass till 
um, December last year. Didn't even really start till after Thanksgiving. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna start destroying these tacos and probably destroy a toilet when I get home. But that's a wrap, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. If you haven't, please like and subscribe. And consider subscribing to the Patreon. I think that's what it's called. Um, link below if you guys want to support the channel financially. So that's all, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out. See you in the next one.